Welcome to another Tech Help video brought to you by AccessLearningZone.com. I'm your instructor, Richard Rost. Today, I'm going to show you how to put numbers next to items in your Microsoft Access reports. So if you got like my invoice report here, you can put little numbers next to each item or, you know, customers or products or whatever you want. Anything you got in here, we can put a number next to it. All right. Okay. This is a question from Jeremy Singh from YouTube. Just to, just to show everybody that you don't have to be a member for me to answer your question. If you give me a good question, especially if it's something that I don't have a video for already, then I will not only answer your question, I'll make a video about it. But Jeremy says, hi, Richard, I Googled how to number a list of items on a report, but I didn't get a video of yours. I did get another helpful video, though, but I've become spoiled with your tutorials. Oh, thanks. Do you have anything on this? Yes, I do cover this topic, but this to it's buried in other videos. I've got one like a running balances video where I show you how to do, you know, uh, uh, the running balance on like a, a check register, but uh, nothing exactly that shows this and uh, not a video specifically on it. And like I tell everybody, if you Google or search YouTube for something Microsoft Access related and one of my videos doesn't show up on top, I want to know about it. My goal is to be the number one search result for anything access related when it comes to videos. All right. Okay. So let's see specifically how to do this. Now I'm going to call this a beginner video because it's real easy to do. It'll work with any report. You don't have to know anything fancy. I'm going to show you how to do it nice and simple. But as far as prerequisites go, I do recommend you take my Microsoft Access Beginner Level 1 class first so you understand how to build reports. This is completely free. And I'm going to be applying this to my invoicing report. If you want to learn how I built my invoicing system, go watch this video. Again, completely free. But again, the technique I'm going to show you today works with any report. You'll find these on my YouTube channel, on my website. So go watch those and come on back. All right, so here I am in my Tech Help free template. This is a free database. You can grab a copy off my website if you want to. And in here, I've got a customer form and customers can have orders and orders can have invoices printed out. And right now, if you look in here, each product is just, you know, here's a product name, some notes maybe, and the pricing information is over to the right. We want to put numbers next to this stuff, okay? All right, so let's go into design view. And I'm gonna move these over just a little bit. I'm gonna draw a box that's just gonna touch these guys and slide them over like that so we got room for our number to go right there. Now you can either copy and paste one of these other boxes from in here or you can go up to report design and grab a new one and just drop it right down in here somewhere like that. I'm going to delete the label that comes in with it. Delete, because we don't need you. And we'll just slide this right up into place. Right about there, okay. And just so we can see it, I'm going to make sure we bold it. Where's the bold? There's the bold. Okay. Now let's open up its properties. Double click. And let's go over to the all tab first. Let's give it a good name. Let's call this uh, sort order or record number or whatever you want to call it. The control source we're going to put in here equals one. Just like that. Equals one. Okay. Now, over on the data tab, I want you to find running sum. And there's some different options in here. Let's make overall. This means over all of the items of this entire report. If you have sorting and grouping on, you can do it over group. If you don't know what grouping levels are, it's a whole separate video. I'll put a link down below, but I'm going to pick overall. Okay. All right. We can close this now. Let's uh, let's slide this product label over and we'll just uh, we'll put another product label next. So I'm just going to copy paste this one. Copy, click, paste. And then we'll put this guy right there. And I'll change this to a number so you can tell it's a number list, right? OK, you ready? All right. Save it. Close it. Open it. And there you go. We got some formatting to do, but it's working, right? I'm going to come back into design view. Let's let's just uh, let's yeah, let's click on it. Let's go up to format. I'm going to drop down shape outline and go transparent and then maybe we'll left align it. That'll, that should make it look a little better, right? Save it, close it, open it. There we go. That looks good. I can probably bring it over to the right just a little tiny bit like this. Let's see right there. There we go. And that's it. 
once you know how running sum works, then it's easy to understand. You can use it for running balances. Like if this, let's, instead of an invoice, let's say this was a check register, right? You can use it so over here you get a running balance with each transaction. In fact, I talk about that in this video. But for this, what we're doing is we're setting the value of that box, of that text box is one. So as you apply the running balance to it, the running sum to it, with every record, it adds one to it, right? One plus one is two, plus one is three, plus one is four, and so on. And so that's how that works. Really simple to implement. In reports, it's simple to implement in reports. Now, what about a form? What if you got a customer list form? Now, these are all uh, auto numbers, and I just added all these in, in sequence. But if you delete a bunch of them in the middle, right? Now they're not in sequence. And again, auto numbers are not for you, but sometimes it's nice to be able to look and see, okay, I got, you know, how many, 26 of them total, even though there's 33 records there, you wanna be able to see a nice numbered list in a form. How do you do that? Well, we'll talk about that in tomorrow's video. We'll do numbered form items. It's a little bit more complicated, so I'm gonna call it an expert level video. There's no programming involved, but you have to know a couple functions in order for it to work right. So we'll talk about that tomorrow. But as you can see, reports are pretty easy. So there you go. Thanks to Jeremy for the question. And that's going to be your tech help video for today. Hope you learned something. Live long and prosper, my friends. I'll see you back tomorrow. If you enjoyed this video, hit that thumbs up button right now and give me a like. Also, be sure to subscribe to my channel, which is completely free. And make sure you click that bell icon and select all to receive notifications whenever I post a new video. Do you need help with your Microsoft Access project? Whether you need a tutor, a consultant, or a developer to build something for you, check out my Access Developer Network. It's a directory I put together personally of Access experts who can help with your project. Visit my website to learn more. Any links or other resources that I mentioned in the video can be found in the description text below the video. Just click on that Show More link right there. YouTube's pretty good about hiding that, but it's there. Just look for it. Now, if you have not yet tried my free Access Level 1 course, check it out now. It covers all the basics of Microsoft Access, including building forms, queries, reports, tables, all that stuff. It's over four hours long. You can find it on my website or my YouTube channel. I'll include a link below you can click on. And did I mention it's completely free? And if you like Level 1, Level 2 is just $1. That's it. And it's free for members of my YouTube channel at any level. Speaking of memberships, if you're interested in joining my channel, you get all kinds of awesome perks. Silver members get access to all of my extended cut tech help videos, and there's hundreds of them by now. They also get one free beginner class each month, and yes, those are from my full courses. Gold members get the previous perks, plus access to download all of the sample databases that I build in my tech help videos. Plus you get access to my code vault where I keep tons of different functions and all kinds of source code that I use. And gold members get one free expert class every month after completing the beginner series. Platinum members get all of the previous perks plus they get all of my beginner courses, all of them from every subject. And you get one free advanced or developer class every month after finishing the expert series. And you can become a diamond sponsor and have your name listed on the sponsor page on my website. So that's it. Once again, my name is Richard Rost. Thank you for watching this video brought to you by AccessLearningZone.com. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you learned something today. Live long and prosper, my friends. I'll see you next time.